Have DC Comics become too political? So I just started reading The Swamp Thing by Nancy Collins Omnibus, and just a couple issues in, we get this interesting story about a gubernatorial race in Louisiana. A political science college professor is frustrated over the two party choices, an establishment Democrat and an openly racist Republican. The professor rallies his students to jokingly enter The Swamp Thing, an elemental creature they aren't even sure truly exists, into the race. The people of Louisiana jump on the grassroots candidate, giving Swamp Thing a big bump in the polls. Eventually, Swamp Thing discovers the news of his candidacy when a news crew shows up in the swamp hoping for an exclusive. The story is wittily written while delivering some biting commentary on the flawed two-party system of America. Readers can easily draw parallels to the presidential elections of 2016 and 2020. The kicker, though, is that this story was written in 1991. While that makes you ponder how slow progress can be, it should also remind you that people have always pushed for positive change through the comics medium. This story was published by DC Comics and even mentions Gotham's Commissioner Gordon and the Batman giving Swamp Thing a political endorsement. So no, DC Comics have not become too political. They have been for decades, and that's a good thing. Swamp Thing for President.